Hello guys, it's uh, Blige uh, from uh, Bold Stroke Adventures. Mushroom forging again. Uh, we are kind of in the uh, early fall uh, 2020 in South Ontario, South Ontario uh, Canada. And, uh, I'm going through this uh, windy, windy afternoon uh, forest. Uh, seems to be mostly oak forest and uh, I'm looking for uh, specifically Hen of the Woods for the nice uh, late afternoon meal but uh, I had no luck, no luck whatsoever uh, maybe next time but in the meantime uh, what is uh, so amazing about mushroom forging uh, you always come across uh, something and uh, sometime, sometimes uh, something completely different. Uh, since I never made a video about uh, this uh, specimen that I just uh, found on this uh, oak, dead oak log, I'm gonna show this uh, closer to you. Do you have any idea what, what could this be? I got uh, more here in my hand. They really grow, grow in clusters. So this is a pear-shaped uh, puffball. Very small, about uh, I don't know grape size, maybe cherry size, uh, the most. Uh, but uh, when you find them, uh, you do find them uh, a lot in the clusters. Now, even if, uh, don't fool yourself, even if uh, small in the size, uh, you can uh, harvest uh, or forge uh, quite few in a very short period of time. Now, if you go back uh, for uh, identification, uh, how to identify them properly, uh, I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. Uh, I always say knife is an uh, excellent tool and uh, uh, with many many mushrooms easy uh, reassurance so I'm gonna come close closer to the camera so this is the puffball they're a brown size they do have uh, it feels kind of like a, a, a skin from outside very round uh, as they grow bigger uh, they're gonna be more like a pear uh, shape and uh, actually one of uh, similar to them in fruit si uh, in uh, in uh, comparing to the fruit it's like a bosch uh, bosch uh, pears so they have to be brown and once you slice them, absolutely white. I don't like a marshmallows. Perfect uh, uh, circle, white circle. And this is your very, very good reassurance. There is a poisonous one, very similar to this, but it's very easy to identify uh, why. It's a common, uh, common earth. Uh, puffball. Once you slice them like this, inside they're completely like they're black, very ugly looking. Uh, even uh, if you would see that you would not eat it because they don't look good at all. So this is a nice marshmallow color, uh, pristine white. Smells really good, uh, somewhere between mushroomy and earthy and uh, fruity rather. And let me tell you one thing. Uh, they are small, but they are delicious. They are very, very delicious. Uh, I usually slice them in two or maybe three pieces the most. Uh, I still want to make sure I slice them at least once, uh, so I actually can confirm it's white from inside. And uh, Mushroom as a mushroom, uh, they cook really fast. A uh, couple of minutes, I will put some butter in the frying pan, a uh, couple of minutes. And uh, you don't want to cook them too fast. Uh, 
um, because you don't want to burn them. You want to make sure they're nice and soft. But believe me one thing, they taste almost like a porcini mushrooms. Uh, and we all know what is porcini. They're like a Cadillac in the mushrooms. And uh, uh, I'm not going to leave not even one because I know they're really good. And uh, pear-shaped puffballs. You see, in contrast to giant puffballs, which are actually big, they can grow 20 pounds, uh, nothing similar to this. Uh, uh, those uh, puffballs, they do not taste the same, actually. Even this meat is white, uh, but they do taste uh, completely different. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, giant uh, puffball, uh, you can go to my other videos and uh, you can actually see me forging them and explaining them. Uh, do they do actually taste like a mozzarella cheese. Uh, uh, a lot like a mozzarella cheese. Uh, but uh, for me, I like those better. I'm gonna pick up all of them. And like I said, uh, when you go uh, forging, you always uh, go off the trail. You come across uh, different things, you see different things. And uh, as I was making my way to this log, uh, look what I found. Uh, some kind of uh, animal, skeleton. Not sure what would that be. Maybe fox. Uh, it's maybe too small for coyote. Maybe fox. Anyway, look at this teeth. Sharp. Very easy, uh, uh, nice uh, souvenir. Anyway, I'm gonna continue uh, going through the forest. Uh, maybe I'll find some uh, puffballs. Uh, maybe hen of the woods. I'm not sure. I'm also looking for the uh, early fall uh, uh, oysters. Uh, we'll see how lucky we get, uh, maybe we need to wait a little bit more, maybe another week for a little bit cooler weather. Uh, I did start finding some uh, tooth uh, uh, mushrooms like uh, lion's mane and uh, another two uh, cousins. Uh, and uh, those ones are delicious as well. So it is seasons for a variety of different mushrooms and uh, uh, if you want to learn more and see more you can always go back to my videos and uh, see other mushrooms so i'm gonna leave you this uh, giant uh, pear shape uh, puffball uh, i hope you guys uh, like this video let me harvest all this and uh, please uh, subscribe